Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth. I would like to do a video on a toy hauler of seismic proportions behind me. This is something we haven't seen in well over a year. It's a Jayco Seismic. A few things have changed since before the pandemic. One of them is we're starting to see seismic show up on the lot. This is the very first new seismic we've had in well over a year. This was, is a seismic luxury series. You're going to notice moving forward that seismics will be differentiated between a regular seismic and a luxury series seismic. This guy's a luxury. The luxury ones are bigger and they have the most luxury appointments as the name implies. You can get these in full body paint. This one is not. This is gel coat with graphics on it, but you can get this in full body paint. If you're familiar with the Jayco lines, think of North Point and Pinnacle. This would sort of be the pinnacle version of toy haulers. We're 45 feet long, plus a few inches, and we're 17,000 pounds, plus a few pounds on size on this. So this is a big guy, but if you're looking for something to haul a lot of toys with, if you're looking for something to sleep a lot of folks with and do it in comfort and luxury style, this might be the ticket. So let's get started, and I'm gonna point out some I should say new things, but since there were so few of these made at all during the past two years, you may not even realize they're new, but they're new features to the Jayco line and the Seismic series. Nice pass-through storage, and this is going to look familiar with some of the other fifth wheel videos we do. Got a five gallon water jug up there that serves the ice and water and the door, drinking water, cooking water, motion sensor lights in here, you got AC power. That's going to look familiar too. On this particular floor plan, we also have another pass-through storage. It's not quite as tall all the way through here next to that. We'll sneak around the front. We'll give you a quick tour on the outside of this before we move inside. This unit is equipped with a 5.5K Onan generator. It's a propane-fueled generator. Uh, no batteries in here yet, but speaking of energy, we do have two solar panels up on top. We we'll already have a charge controller, so this is already upfitted with a solar option. More uh, pin box up here. That's something that you'll see familiar with both the Pinnacle fifth wheels and the, uh, the size mix. Now we've got this outfitted with both side cameras and rear cameras, so this is eliminating all blind spots. New in 2023 is you can utilize these as a security system as well. So all of these units are wired for a camera above the door. We went ahead and ordered this with a camera above the door. So you've got a 360 view of the coach at night with that monitor inside the coach for security. So that's pretty cool and that's a new feature in 23. Propane bottle on the other side looks just like this one. I didn't open the other door, uh, but there it is. Our battery disconnects in there. Now, obviously the opposite side of our pass-through storage. If you glance to the left there, you'll see the pure sine, sine wave inverter. It's an 1800 watt pure sine wave inverter. That's important, that's pure power that's gonna power all your gadgetry in the absence of shore power. So you'll have household current next to the beds, household current going to the residential refrigerator, and it's clean power that's not gonna mess up your, your gadgets. Um, hot and cold spray port here. Everything's labeled nicely when it comes time to hook this up, depending on your situation. You're, you have an auto level control panel there. Now remember, you can do it here. You can also control the leveling from inside the coach. And my favorite part, you can do it from your phone and be out here and watch the jacks drop. In fact, you can do all the functions on this unit from your phone. Push out these slides, drop the jacks, I can be out here and watch this slide come out so I know I'm not pulling it into a power pedestal or something. It won't keep me from cracking my head right here, which I nearly did. Hey, here's a little quick tip. Go to your favorite big box home improvement store, get those pipe insulation sections, a couple bucks each, and pop them right on there. They're brown colored, so they won't really clash with this, but it'll, you'll, I'll, you'll thank me later when you go this, especially on a unit that's like like this high. I have a 12 gallon water heater right here. You can see it's been winterized. We've already got our anode rod sticking out here. 
opposite side of our little pass-through storage that we saw from the other side. That's your central vac bag assembly. So that's where you have a central vac inside here and that's where you pop your bag in. Works just like a whole household vacuum cleaner. Vacuum bonded walls, that's true with all Jayco fifth wheels. Hey, I forgot a door here. This gives you access to the back of your residential fridge. Right there's your water valve. You can get into this if you ever need to access it for service or anything without having to pull it out from the inside. Technician can access the back of the fridge uh, here as well. And it makes a nice little hiding place for stuff too, because you can lock that. Have uh, awning style tilt out windows all the way around. So these are frameless windows. They tilt out, they don't slide. I'm a fan of them because they cover up the gasket. These tend to streak less. Uh, also, it can come up a shower and rain and you can leave that window open and it can't rain in. That's a vent for the garage area. Now we're in the toy hauler portion of the toy hauler. That's a vent, you'll see one on the other side. Six point auto leveling. Uh, obviously, we're on a tri-axle here. Um, we've got Goodyear Endurance tires times six. American made with a six year warranty. Now we have a fueling station here, so it's a good chance if you bought this, you're gonna to have toys to haul in it, and those toys are gonna require gasoline. 30 gallon tank here for your gasoline fueling station. You can fill up those dirt bikes or what have you right out here, even if you're out in the middle of Timbuk nowhere, Colorado. Sandy Con Turbo Waste System, this is a waste macerator. It pumps out and evacuates your black tank, boom, just like that. And it, it can even pump it uphill if you need to. One thing that they've done is added a regular stinky slinky sewer hose holder right here. So you can stow a traditional sewer hose under here without having to put it in a little tub and finding someplace else to stow it. This ladder has pins on it so we can pull these out, pop it off. I was just up on the roof a minute ago and checked out the solar panels that are up there. Now, one thing that's unique about this, it's a 4113, which is the most popular seismic floor plan, toy hauler floor plan that Jayco makes. One of the reasons is it's got two patios. I have a patio here, which is of course the loading ramp. I also have a patio on the patio side that pops out with an awning over it too. Um, so in order to, well, here's an option right here in front of me. This is optional. Clearly we ordered it with this. It's a tailgate outdoor kitchen option. What's behind this? Just pop this open. I have a griddle and a drink refrigerator. Now, obviously I need to get this out of the way so I can drop the rear patio down. Just have to release it right there and then pull this pin out right here. Now, this thing's free to pivot around. I can do it at any angle. I can stop it here or I can continue pivoting it around whatever your campsite calls for. I'll pull it up to about right here. Okay, hook that up to propane. This pulls out. I have my griddle, my drink refrigerator. And wait, there's more. If you want to put a TV, you can mount a TV on this key block mount right here. And our power and cable TV connections are right up there on the wall. It comes with a TV mount, it's up in the storage bay. So I have a TV here. I've already got a TV on the side patio, which we'll show in just a second. So we're talking entertainment galore here. So if you really want to be able to cook outside, entertain outside, this is a neat feature. But before we go on, let's go ahead and show this. See, we have our Thule Crown awning that extends straight out. You can see the uh, security lights, courtesy lights are on and our rear camera up above there. One thing that's cool about these is they're super easy to deploy. These are springs down here, which make pushing this back tailgate up and lowering it a breeze. All you have to do, these are lockable, of course, and I already have them unlocked. Just lift up here and pull this out of the way. Do the same thing on the other side. Unlock it, lift this up, pull that out of the way. And then just give it a little tug. And it's gonna come down just from gravity, but those springs are gonna keep it from slamming down real fast, just like so. So easy. 
uh, and you can do it with one person. While I'm here and before I deploy this, I want to show how easy it is to put back up. Just get on the end and just walk it right back up. All right, I ate my Wheaties this morning, but I'm really not that strong. It's just that easy to do. Come on. <laughs> so, really cool. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on with the tour. When we get inside, we'll come out because you're gonna wanna come out from the inside to deploy these side rails and everything. So we'll continue on with the tour. I already have the awnings out. Look at all this awning coverage on what I call the fun side of the camper. This is the fun side where the fire pit and the picnic table and all the uh, fun beverages are, right? So awning over there covering your outdoor cooking area and your entrance to the garage area. Awning here, which covers not only our patio, which I'll deploy, as well as the entry door. So we've kind of come full circle here. So let's go ahead and drop this down. We're gonna do it the same way we do the back. Unlock that, pop this side open, pop this side open, and give it a little tug. Boom, just like that. Now, we can go inside and deploy these side rails to make it a true patio. What else do we have to talk about in here, out here before we go in? Have our two plus three warranty. You're gonna see that on every Jayco uh, product on the planet. That's two times as much warranty as everyone else. Three year structural. You'll see stickers on here, which you can either leave on or take off, but Jayco just does a fantastic job of insulating these units. This is a true four season unit, so you can enjoy this all four seasons. When the furnace is kicking on, you're throwing heat down into the basement so you're not freezing those pipes and so on. So it is a true four season unit. So with that, let's go inside and have a look at the cool stuff on the inside and we'll deploy the patios. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 4113. Before I do the rest of the tour all inside, let's talk about the patios, because that's what makes this unit special. We have a very residential style sliding glass door that goes out onto the patio, and it does have a screen. So just like home, you, have a, you can let a lot of air circulation come through here. So slide this out of the way. I've already dropped the patio floor down, and I'm ready to put up the perimeter. So simply come around here, release these two clips. There's one right here and there's one right here and simply lift up on it. Now there's also little, little snaps down here that are holding these in. So snap one off and it's got a caster on it. So just roll that out of the way and pop this one off as well. Roll it over here and it will Boom, lock into there. This one locks into right there. So now we have an enclosed patio for the pets. The kids can come out here and enjoy it without falling off. We're under cover. What's behind this door, you say? A smart TV. All right, so here's a cool thing too. Instead of lifting it up this way, Jayco drops it down this way. You can put a tablecloth or something on here and kind of like a bar, right? Have beverages up here, snacks, chips and dip, whatever. Our TV's right behind here and our JBL speakers. I can't emphasize this enough. Up until last year, these were not JBL. <laughs> They're JBL speakers now. Those are bona fide speakers. They're great. There's even a subwoofer on the inside. So we have a nice patio area out here all under cover. Right there's that security camera, uh, Brian, before we go in, which is really pointing down right now. I uh, can't reach it, but so we have a security camera at the door, cameras in the front two corners, camera in the back, all the way around security. So that's a really neat uh, feature for this. So come on in. I'm going to close this door because it's nice and toasty warm out there. While we're talking about patios, let's go ahead in the back and talk about this one too. Now this is, uh, this is neat because these are all weather enclosures. So not only are they screens, but you can lower them just like a storm door at home or storm window, like so. And now I have screen here, right? So that's really cool and you can pop these out all the way, but that allows a lot of airflow through here. And again, we have the air conditioner on, so I'm gonna pop that up. But if it's a nice day and you want a lot of airflow, 
that's pretty neat to be able to do that. Now, these simply slide open. Either side slides open. And this is going to be a similar drill to what we just did on the side. I'm going to loosen this clip. Loosen this clip. Pop up either side. Like this. It's snapped on the bottom. Open this up. Same on this side. Snap that. This one goes first. Lock that in. Boom. Now, nice and closed area here. Cover the awning. The awning comes out over here. So we have covered space on the side, covered space here. Those steps that are on the floor right there simply come down and mount on the back so you can uh, have steps going down from here off to the creek or the dirt bike trail or whatever. So this is another point of entry in the coach. Save time, I won't wrestle those out, but that's what those steps are for. So coming on back in here. All right, now we're in the garage area. We've got nearly 13 feet of garage space in here. I have two platforms that lower. I'll show you that in a second. So we have a bed deck, another one that drops down into a king size bed or jackknife sofa. But before that, up here I have our Insignia brand TV and some cabinetry above that. Everything's high in here for good reason because chances are you're going to be pulling in a side by side or a golf cart or something in here and we need as much uh, height as we can get. Height wise, I'm six feet tall. I didn't bring my tape measure, but you're about six, six at the lowest point on these leg extensions. You can put a camera up here to keep an eye on the toys while you're going down the road. So in addition to the front side cameras, back camera, door camera, you can put yet another camera here. I have a half bath in this floor plan. So I have a commode right there, a nice little lavatory, medicine cabinet, and a uh, little storage underneath that. So that's real nice. Uh, the Seismic uh, brand, they've gone with more of a robust kind of, you got like pipe metal fittings here for, a, I guess that's a toilet paper holder. <laughs> I guess you gotta reach up for the toilet paper. You'll see this up in the front bathroom too, but a real stout looking uh, uh, fixtures there because I get, it's a toy hauler, all right toy hauler. Washer and dryer would go right here, stackable or a combo. Obviously the fittings are right here. Power is right here. You can vent this to the outside. It doesn't have to be a ventless, which is what you sometimes see in toy haulers when they're stuck in the middle, but you can vent that to the outside. We have our vents, speaking of vents right here, that pops open since we do have combustible engines back here. Uh, keep that open to help the air flow, stay fresh air in here. A lot of people say, well, why don't you put roller shades in here? Nice fancier shades. I think it has something to do with safety. These are not flammable. That's why you'll see these also behind kitchen uh, locations in high-end fifth wheels. Have our side door. So in addition to be, being able to go in and out through the patio, I've got this little door here that I can go in and out of the toy area. Now up here are a couple light switches, our awning right here, in and out awning. So that's the awning in the back of the coach. And then this is the bed lift switch right beside that. I do have an AC here. I've got a couple ACs on this unit. This one's not running so it stays quiet while we're filming. But you can see right here are jackknife sofas, which is in a uh, level bed platform, and then a strictly bed platform above that. So we're gonna do a jump cut. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that and show you what it looks like in the down position. So just like that, now we have jackknife sofa. I can put a table in here for dining or whatever. I can fold these back into a single nice big sleeping platform. I'm not gonna do it just to save time, but I have another bed deck that will drop down to about yay high. So how many can we sleep? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to 10, right? At least. I could even put another pallet on the floor, but it's super easy to convert these. You just want to follow some safety steps, which are printed on the end here, and you'll want to make sure that you do those so you're not, yep, like for instance, when you drop this into a bed, you want to make sure and drop these legs down here, and it just simply folds end over end like that. This side folds end over end like that. And if you're gonna have it as a bed, drop those legs down so you have that reinforcing in the middle. 
And then when you're ready to roll it up, come back to your switch and up it goes. All right, one thing I like too about this is this really heavy duty door. This is a door that you might find in a high-end residence. It's not a flimsy door. So it really blocks out the garage area. Plus if the kids are being rowdy, you can close it and it helps soundproof. So now we're in the, li oh yeah, let's close that door because it's real bright out there. Now we're in the living area of this. What's really cool about this is there's an L-shaped loft up there. Ooh, let me get the ladder out there so I can show off the loft. You can stow this ladder wherever you want. It will actually fit up there as well. But if I'm a little kid, man, that's where I'm going to be sleeping. There's a loft there. It's an L shape behind this cabinetry up there. So really a fun place to hide. If you don't have kids or kids uh, want to sleep down here, at the very least, you have a bunch of storage area up there to put clear plastic tubs tuck them up behind this cabinet assembly up and out of the way. Now we have a 50 inch smart high definition television right here. It's an insignia brand. Jayco's done a nice job of tucking away lots of HDMI cables and connections back here for you. So if you want to add gaming consoles and stuff and check this out, it's a JBL subwoofer tucked right behind here. So you can get that true theater sound in here, really full surround. It wouldn't do justice if I turned it on for you now, but it really does sound nice. It's a big upgrade. This is our G JBL sound system. Again, speakers here, your JBL uh, speakers. Zone A are these speakers, B are the ones in the ceiling, C is out on the patio. So this is great. Nice audio, nice video, fireplace down here, which is a fancy space heater. Just uh, knocks the chill off the coach using electricity when you need it. And storage up here with smoked glass inserts on the cabinetry. There's another cubby right here as you're going up the, up the steps. Now I have a reclining sofa here. There's four sitting positions and each one of them has a pull tab right there to recline it. We have removable TV tray inserts here, and you'll notice the controls on here is lighting, massage, and heat. That's what I call camping. Got to have that. You know, I always wanted that in my tent that I had was massage seating in the tent. I never got it in the tent, but in a seismic, you can get it. All right, before we go on, a little more storage up here. I always like to point out the storage because there's a lot of it in a Jayco. Now, kitchen's kind of looking down on the living area here, which I like this. So it's an open space. It's not really blocked off from the rest of it. So one or two folks can be prepping food up here, visiting with the rest of the family and clear view of the television while you're up here messing around in the kitchen. One of the changes in 23 is a single big stainless steel basin sink instead of a 50-50. That's great. If you're out in the middle of Timbuk Nowhere, Colorado, you just shot an elk or whatever, you probably have big pans and stuff to clean. I like the bigger sink here. This is that water spigot that's plumbed to the five gallon water jug that lives down in the basement of the coach. Um, and here's the, the water pump switch for that jug. So you have to have that water switch on in order to get that water up to this location. Our max air vent right here so I can control it, remote control. Um, you'll see these little guys at various points throughout the coach. They're lighting shortcuts for the most part. Ceiling, accent, uh, slide ceiling, and pump in this case. Um, so besides being able to do it from the phone, you can do it from here. This looks like you could pop it off and remove it. You can't. You have to release it with a little screwdriver and pop it off and there's like a watch battery behind there if you ever need to access it. More storage up top here. Again, boom, boom, boom. This, uh, there's Brian's camera bag right there. It fits Brian's camera bag. One thing uh, I always like to point out is the build quality on Jayco's cabinets. Every drawer and every door front is solid maple. 
They're always full extension drawer glides. None of this particle board with tape on it to make it look like real wood. Everything on a Jayco cabinet face is real wood. I don't know what this stuff is here. This guy just got in here from Jayco. But I have a four burner cooktop here. Easy to remove this for cleaning, which it desperately needs right now. This is Insignia brand, 24 inch, nearly residential size uh, oven. So yeah, you can do a turkey in there for sure. Convection microwave. And then this is new in 23. They used to have a wine rack up here and didn't get used that much. Plus people were worried about leaving a bottle of wine up there and taking off going down the road. They've converted it to a spice rack which drops down, spices up there. You can lift this whole thing out of there, but I uh, think it's probably more functional as a spice rack. Would you rather have a wine rack or a spice rack? Let me know, I'm curious, inform or poll. Now, I'm not asking if you'd rather have a glass of wine or a bottle of spice, but in this space right here, would you rather have wine rack or a spice rack? I'm really curious. I know which one I want, but I'll reserve revealing that till later. Residential fridge, it's Whirlpool. I can buy this same fridge at Lowe's or Home Depot this afternoon. It's a side-by-side, -side, very nicely lit, ice and water in the door, very nice. And then nice pantry space to the left of it, so lots of room for groceries in there. All right, I know I'm forgetting something. We have J-Voice. This is, uh, you'll see this on high-end pinnacles and, and uh, north points as well. I can command the lights in here just by voice. There's a little bit medallion right above Brian's head right up there. So if I simply say, Jayco, all lights, all lights. So I can turn the lights on and off. I can do movie mode. I can turn the AC on. There's a number of different commands that you can do with that. So if your hands are full, you just lay down on the bed, you don't have your phone handy, you can tell it to turn all the lights on or off, so pretty cool. Now we're in the bedroom. Right behind me here is another smart TV. Again, an Insignia brand TV. I can pop this out for a better viewing angle. This unit's optioned with a king bed here. And as I often say, the advantage of having a king bed is that you get a king bed. The disadvantage of having a king bed is it's a king bed in here, okay? It takes up most of this room. In this case, it's offset a little bit, so there's more room over there to access some cabinetry and storage locations. However, there's precious little room over here for making the bed. Important to you? Maybe, maybe not. Again, the trade-off is, is we're sleeping in a king bed just like we have at home. I can access the bathroom here as well as in the hallway over there. I do have a little bit of storage on either side of the bed. And notice each one of those outlets is inverted. So that's inverted power. That means you're stopped, truck is off, no shore power, no uh, generator. You still have household current coming through those outlets from your inverter powered by the battery. So we're gonna do a, do a do si do and I'll show you some stuff behind Brian. Now we have some more storage over on this side. If I open this up, I have a nice closet with a clothes rack up there, clothes rail, and then down below, a drawer for socks and shallower items. And then a little cubby over here. You can flip this up, it's kind of neat to reveal a compartment under there and then two more drawers below that and there is a little window there as well have an outlet up there maybe that's a place for me to put my makeup on in the morning i don't know two drawers here again shelves up there so nice i do have storage underneath this bed so if i just lift it up it's on struts so under here you can see we have our central vac attachments. I have our hose connection for the spray port outside, some other stuff for the microwave and our camera system, water filter. Suffice it to say I have a lot of storage under here, under the bed as well. So I'll pop this down and show off the bathroom here. Now one thing about this floor plan is there is a big window up front. We've got it closed because it kind of messes with our camera lighting. 
And this will show off all those nice Indiana bugs up there, but that really lets a lot of natural light in. In the winter time, when you actually want that sun to come in and help warm this area up, you can do that. I'm thinking a little puppy dog or a kitty is gonna love to curl up there in the sun, put their bed up there. So that's pretty nice, but when it comes time to crash at night, you could drop this total blackout shade down, block it out completely. Lots of pillows. You can't have too many pillows in a luxury toy hauler. Now in the bathroom, we have a pocket door here. I'm a big fan of doing pre-trip checklists and this should be on your list. Make sure you secure this door for travel. Otherwise this is going to be going bang, 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 bang down the, down the highway. Another one, make sure you secure the glass shower door so that it can't be opening and closing going down the road. Huge shower. Really like this shower. I have a, check this out. I've got a spray port, spray port, boom, up here plus a hand wand here. This is new in 23 really high-end type of appointment here. Uh, nice shower surround, plenty of room here along with a teak seat down here for those who shave their legs and stuff like that. Pop it up when you don't need it, but a nice big shower. I have a skylight up here. Uh, have a little medicine cabinet right to the left of a larger bowl style sink than what we saw previously. There's a little bit of storage underneath the sink. And then I mentioned the Sandy Con Turbo Flush, which we have, and this is a porcelain foot flush toilet. Uh, again, more sort of robust utilitarian uh, fixtures here on the Seismic. Okay, folks, that wraps up our tour with the 4113 Seismic Luxury. Everything you need to live comfortably and have fun in the great outdoors. Before I go, I point this out in other units, but I kind of just skated right by it. This is an Android tablet right here where you control all the functions of this unit. I have lighting shortcuts down here as well as I can toggle through my awnings and my slide function. But you can do it all on the touchpad. So our climate here shows our main AC, our second AC, our third AC. The little droplet has all of our tank, all of our motors right here, leveling, slides, awnings, the little therm thermometer again, and then our lighting schemes, so I can dim the lights by just pulling these back and forth. Here's the cool thing, you can put this app on your phone and control all of these functions from the comfort of your phone. Our fueling station switch is there too, that's got to be on in order to pump gasoline from your fueling station. Jayco Seismic 4113, it's a 2023 model. We did a little quick check and this is only one of uh, two or three in the entire state of Texas, so far as I can tell. So if you'd like to come out and look at it, if you're ready to purchase, great, come on. We'll get you hooked up with one of our great sales guys. Or if you wanna place one on order and come out and look at all the features, be a good time to do that too. Hey, drop a comment below. Curious to see what you think about this. And when you're down there, click like and subscribe, please and thank you. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos like this. My name is Mike. I always appreciate you joining me and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Bot RV.